No, I didn't. I don't know why. We got our monkey picture. These are aggressive monkeys, yeah. We we nurtured them. We did. Tamed we charmed them. them. Here's some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to Cat Bath. We can't actually go home. So. <laughs> so we just took, got the boat ride back, and then we agreed upon 250, 250 thousand dongs for the trip there and back. When the guy, we made sure that he was it was 250. And then the guy's like, okay, 350. And we're like, no, it was 250. So there's like a whole ordeal. But this is Nick. It is the adventure of doing things and going there. It's not actually the destination, I guess, or something like that. Well, we don't. Uh, maybe we'd recommend it if you were doing loads of other things. But we just came for the monkey thing, and it yeah. was not as easy. Well, as yeah, we you could book a tour. That's what I recommend. Book but a tour and do more things than just the yeah. Monkey don't island. don't just go just for the monkey island because it's not worth the price. And like all my dongs are gone. Like <laughs> all my dongs are gone. Got one left here. Huh? What? So now we're good. we're walking to our hotel because we don't want to spend any more money on um, taxis. <laughs> I haven't eaten much yet today, so we're gonna eat at this restaurant that we found. Thank you. It's my first time drinking from a coconut. How narrow is it? You get the blue bed, but guess what? I get the toilet paper. So I don't get any toilet paper. No, because it's not like this is this is the red bed privileges. You You're the, you get the peasant bed. You don't poop though, right? No, but I don't. I pee and I'm girl. Ew. Yeah, he doesn't know these things yet. I don't think his mom ever taught him. Beautiful beds, like film me. This is gorgeous, like <laughs> like, like baby cot beds. Yeah, there's no springs. The views are everything, and guys, if you're not living, then you're not living. What is life? What is life? Yes, yes, yes. Um, but honestly, this is a six dollar night hotel, and it's not bad, really. This is a lot, very, very last minute because, like I said, we got stranded on Cat <laughs> Island. <laughs> what was that? I'm just trying to make some graffiti. Got water, Cat <laughs> Island. <laughs> got stranded. Oh, I guess we should have listened to that. The Oasis. Yeah, they have fans. Oh, poor babies. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at that. This is drunkard doing out here. You drunkard. <laughs> so, um, beer here is basically free, or alcohol here is basically free. I don't like alcohol that much, but it's basically free. In case you guys want to know. Good morning. I have to be quiet because I'm ass man sleeping. We got fucking quiet. <laughs> we gotta go. I didn't eat breakfast. I haven't eaten for so long. You ate like 10 meals yesterday. I had like one because you said that I eat too much. All my batteries are dying. I didn't bring any chargers. I did shower, but I have no makeup to put on, so I'm gonna look like this until further notice. I'm sorry. Oh no, my batteries died on my camera. Guys, okay, stay tuned. I'm gonna try and charge this a little bit. Oh, it's <laughs> we're eating, and then we're gonna catch a ferry. We just got the ferry ticket. Whoa. All right, before I die, spring rolls, tofu and tomato sauce. Finally got my camera charged. So I didn't get to finish yesterday because my camera completely died. We got back. I guess whenever you travel, things don't always go according to plan, especially when um, <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna move. You gross. You fucking call me? You gross. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't eat that. Eat it. You'll get grumpy if you don't. We are going to Haiphong. Is that what it is? I got some bananas that are like almost all gone. They're like little bananas. Um, we had fruit this morning and tea. And we got this huge thing. We weren't sure what it was and it was really expensive. Seven dollars. Like, I don't know why. We can't even afford that. I don't know why we did that, but. Very, very misty. It's gonna be, it's gonna get better in a few days. So we're gonna go to Haiphong City, which is not like the biggest city in the world, but it is a city that's bigger than where I'm at right now. Where's your jacket? Just got a shirt. Just got a shirt in my bag. Why are you so sad? Because you don't have a jacket? Why are you sad? You ready to go now? 
Is all good in your world? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. We're both really moody people. <laughs> Very similar in that respect. Yeah. We have our little moments. Are you recording this or that? This. Still bummed it's about my a... $7 fucking grapefruit. <laughs> Seven dollars for grapefruit. It's because it's like an Asian grapefruit. He's still mad. About I hate that. grapefruit. That's why he was so sad earlier. I was like, hey, let's try this interesting, huge, hard fruit. We don't million, know yet. Million. We haven't opened it. Maybe it's great. Maybe it'll change our lives. A million, million dollars. Maybe we'll like start a farm and just farm Asian grapefruit. This whole experience has changed the meaning of the word dong for me. Dong is not no longer a pleasant word. Yeah, you like the dong before. I like the you? dong before. <laughs> One nice thing about Vietnam is they seem to have way more vegetarian options here than they do in like Japan, so that's good. We've got obviously lovely passion fruit juice with a little bit of lime. Look how aesthetic that is. And Wait. a ton Wait. of sugar. Yeah. So the thing about coffee here, and a lot of you have told me to try the coffee, it's good of course, but I think they mix it with something that's really sweet. All the coffee I've tried here has been sweet, so I think it's, I think it's like sweetened in this milk or something. I'm not sure what they put in it, but... Southeast Asians, they like sweet things. It looks like we're outside right now, but we're not. <laughs> mm, lovely yeah, no, it's actually raining and awful outside, but this is nice. <laughs> Not like a pretty city, but it's the city. I don't think the cities are that pretty here, anyways. It's really, really terrifying crossing the road. You have to just walk out in front of the motorbikes, and now we're trying to find a pagoda. I don't even want to see a pagoda. I've seen loads. I live in Japan. We're just trying to, to make the most out of this journey. We're kind of disappointed with uh, the weather, and the fong's not that great of a city, but we already knew that. that happens sometimes. This is the pagoda we were trying to go to, but we can't get in. I'm not allowed in. I don't know why. Before my battery dies, I'm not allowed in because I'm wearing shorts. Whoa. I get it. I think he keeps doing like trousers and that, and then I said like, we need longer pants. And on the pants, and he's like, he was like, hmm. He seems a bit weird about like telling us about it. He's a bit like. Yeah, but you should be allowed, and you have long pants on. Does it? Did he even see you when I first walked in? Yeah, I think he just like doesn't want us to. Go. There, yeah. Yeah, because like the other like the girl stuff, she's wearing like tight pants. In there. But like for his skin, it's his skin. Yeah, but like he didn't see me though. At first, he didn't see you, right? No, you just walked in. and He's like, no. <laughs> I don't have no idea where I left off yesterday, but um, my camera died. What, what, where did my camera die at? It was in Hafong. Right. Hashtag worst YouTuber ever. Um, 
<laughs> Some people say we have really good chemistry. Ew. I know, that's what I said. I don't know what that means. So we went to Hafang yesterday. We got kicked out of like two temples. That was a bit nasty. Because we were like foreigners. The, the second one, they didn't give us a reason. The first one, we were like taking pictures and stuff. So we were there a while. So that was fine. But the first one, they wouldn't even let us in. And then he like went in to try and like figure out why we were yeah, like, I wasn't gonna leave it at that. I was like, you tell me why, young man. <laughs> he wasn't a young man. <laughs> the guy just wasn't having it. There's other people in there taking pictures and stuff, so it wasn't anything to do with that. I think, I, I don't know, I, I think he just didn't like us. Today's a new day, and it's I'm actually- It was good to see a city. So yeah, it was, good to see, it, was, <laughs> it, was good, it was good to see a city. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. But before we end it, we're gonna open this mysterious, really expensive fruit that he got. If you know what it is, type in the comments. Yeah, well, does it have a different name? Hmm? Does it have a different name? We don't know the name of it. I know it's Pomelo. I know it's called Pomelo. Okay, well, But yeah. something, uh, probably other names too. Let's open this, because we're hungry. <laughs> right. Well, just take a picture first. I'm going to be like, if you know what this is. I haven't seen Did you get the, the thing in it? I don't know. Wait, I just want a barbarian. No, 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 it's too blunt. It's just going to, like... You don't need to machete it. Okay. Oh, it's pink on the inside. Whoa, it's like... <laughs> Sorry. Wow. You trying to look like that? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. You can realize it's a hat. It's really pink. It's so cool. It smells really good too. Whoa. It's so soft. It's definitely way different than normal grapefruit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's not sour. It's very mild. It tastes really good. It's like way better than grapefruit. Mm. Grapefruit's got that like, um, grapefruit's got that like zingy flavor. Sour. Mm. You want some? Comment below if you've ever had this. It's really good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe. I love you very much. Make sure you stay extraterrestrial and keep up because we're going to have another adventure. Probably like something really, really cool. <laughs> okay, bye.